Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and we're talking about iOS 15 settings. Now, of course, with every major update of iOS, there also come a lot of new settings. There are a bunch of those on iOS 15 as well. And there are some that you actually should change immediately on your device. I should do that, of course, to get an overall better experience using your iPhone running on iOS 15. So in this video, I will show you guys 18 of those settings. And of course, I will let let you know why you should change those settings immediately on your iOS 15 device. We're starting off with focus. Now this is a new section added to the iOS 15 settings app. Now focus will replace do not disturb here. And of course, when you go inside here, you will find all the different focus statuses you can set. And of course, do not disturb is there as well. Now you can even create your own custom ones by tapping the plus button. Now what we're talking about here is this setting, share across devices. Now with share across devices being enabled, you will have the same status on all of your devices. So let's say you have maybe another iPhone or an iPad, you turn on do not disturb on this device, every other device will have the same focus status. So you don't need to worry about being disturbed by your other devices. So that's a great feature. So make sure you go ahead and enable share across devices. Of course, from the list of these focus statuses right here, you can go ahead and choose maybe the ones that you use the most, maybe like do not disturb or mindfulness or maybe work, whatever you want to set them up. And of course, you can even create your own custom ones. But a really great way, some really useful settings are within these. So let's just try here, do not disturb. And this is what I'm talking about. Smart activation, you have schedule here, and then you have automation as well. So these are the settings that you should look at. And of course, choose whichever you want to use, whichever fits you better. Now I can choose here automation. And if I go ahead and enable an automation right here, I can turn on do not disturb simply by opening an app. So let's say I want to open, do, basically turn on automatically do not disturb whenever I'm reading something, just choose the books app right there. And whenever I go into the books app, you can see right there, it will turn on do not disturb automatically. Now the good thing about this is that whenever I exit this app, do not disturb will automatically be turned off. So you can see right there, the pop-up, it tells me that it's now off and that's a great feature to have. And of course can be enabled from here. Just go to automations, add schedule or automation right here. And you can add any of your apps. Another thing that you should do for any of the modes is choose the apps and the people that are allowed to call you or send you notifications. So you will have here people and then you have apps. You go ahead and add any app you want and then from these apps, you will receive notifications, even though you might have this status turned on. You will have the same four people here. You can choose maybe your favorites or whoever you want to choose. Just go ahead and go to calls right here and enable any of these like that you want to actually receive calls and messages from these people, even though you might have something like do not disturb turned on. Now, another setting that is very useful that you should turn on right here is called allow repeated calls. So let's say you have maybe like mindfulness or do not disturb, you're reading something. It doesn't allow a call to come in because you have do not disturb turned on. But if someone really needs you, they wanna have contact with you, they go ahead and call you a second time, then this will allow that call to come in. So allow repeated calls. That's very, very useful and make sure you go ahead and turn it on. When setting up one of your focuses, you can choose which home screen pages you want to allow. You go right there and you enable custom pages. And then from here, you can edit your pages and choose which pages you want to see when you turn that focus mode on. That's really great. And this one right here, if you have this turned on, I suggest you turn it off. What this will do is hide all the notification badges from your home screen, from your apps. So if you have any like badge there that might be important, you won't see it at all because they will be removed automatically. Moving on to notifications and we have a great new feature right here called announce notifications. Now what this will do actually will allow Siri to now announce notifications to you. Previously, it used to do this only with calls and messages. Now you can have that for any notification that you want from any app. You can enable it right here, but if you have that enabled, just know that you won't receive any of those without enabling them right here. So you go to any of your apps and you will be able to enable 
announce notifications so just by choosing them right here from the list so anything you want just go ahead and en enable them from here and you will get any notification announced that you choose from this list right here next up we're going to siri and search if you go here you will find announce calls now what this will do will announce calls for you but you can choose here how you want to do that you can do that on headphones only on headphones and car or always of course always probably will be very disturbing so what i suggest you do go ahead and choose headphones only so only when you have your headphones you maybe have your iphone away or on a table or somewhere you can go ahead and get those calls announced to you without having to read for your iphone to see who is calling you next up we're moving to the mail settings go to mail right here and then go to privacy protection right here we'll find protect mail activity what this does is that will hide your IP address so that will basically protect your privacy by hiding your identity from like companies that send you emails like stuff like that and of course they won't know what you're doing whether you're reading their email or not so that's great of course an amazing privacy feature as always Apple goes big on privacy so go ahead and enable this right here from the mail settings next up we're moving under the privacy settings and this is a new setting that Apple has added with iOS 15 even though it's still not fully functional you can go right here to record app activity make sure you have this enabled so currently it's not displaying anything here even though you can save this as a file I believe or something like that but actually there is nothing here that should be probably with a future update you will see here a report now what this will do is just tell you what apps are doing which kinds of data they're using on your iphone and all that stuff so by enabling this you will see the report right here of course as soon as the update comes to your iphone next up let's go to the safari settings and we have another privacy setting right here that has been added with ios 15 it's called hide ip address and you can go ahead and enable it simply by choosing from trackers so your ip address will basically be used to determine your information like location something like that by enabling this that will protect you so of course like websites and stuff like that won't be able to locate you and know your information and then of course track you so you can go ahead and just hide your ip from the tracker simply by enabling right here let's move on to the iMessage settings let's go ahead and go to notifications right here now what you will have here are some really important settings one of them is right here time sensitive notifications so of course messages and calls as well do this for both of them they are very important sometimes you might get something really important so you want to have this enabled right here so you will get the notification right away from this app whenever you receive something and lower here you will also find by going to customize notifications you will find here a button to allow notifications from unknown senders whether you want to do that or not is up to you of course but you can go ahead and disable that if you don't want to receive notifications from senders that you don't know and when you go to the messages settings on your ios 15 device you will see right here a section that says focus and i have it turned on now what this does when you're communicating with something with someone with iMessage they will see basically that you're like away if you just put do not disturb it will show them that this person is away so let's just go ahead here and go to the focus you will see like an example of this so let's just go ahead and find that so here we have focus status and you can see right here how it will show you this person has not has notifications on silence actually this what will display to someone when they're trying to send you a message and you have one of your focuses turned on so if you enable that for the iMessage they will see it and they will see it on any other app that supports this feature next up we're moving to the weather app we have here some settings that are very very useful and of course the weather app one of the apps with the most updates and it has completely changed with ios 15. so you tap on the lines right there to go to the cities view you tap right there on the three dots and go to notifications what you will find right here is your location and all the other locations that you have on the list of cities on your weather app 
Now what you can do here, enable alerts for any of these locations, whether they're like is a snowstorm coming, a storm, rain or anything like that, you will be notified on your lock screen. The feature works great. I've tried this feature since beta one on iOS 15. And it works really, really good. And it's a great feature to have. Now, of course, if you want to do that for your location, you will have to enable it. You have to enable location services, of course, and then enable it right here. Next up, we're moving to the podcast settings. And what you should turn off right here is a feature that will actually save you a lot of space on your device. So you can see right here, you have download when saving, you go ahead and disable this. So whenever you save an episode, maybe to listen to it later, it will download it automatically on your device. So you don't want to do that. These will take quite a lot of space. The same goes here for enable when following. So you will have automatic downloads, enable when following, you follow someone, and the episodes will automatically download it to your device that will take a ton of space on your device so make sure you have both of these turned off the translation on ios 15 is really great apple has made this a system-wide feature you can basically select text anywhere and go ahead and translate it now what i suggest you do is go to the translate settings and make sure you enable on device mode and then go ahead and download the languages that you might need this will allow you to translate anything even though you might not have internet connection on your device so for any of the languages that you have here available offline they will be basically downloaded to your device and you will be able to translate anything to those languages even without using internet and last but not least we have two different settings that are older you have these on iOS 14 as well, but are really, really important. And I suggest everyone should keep these on. First of all is under battery, battery health, optimized battery charging. Always make sure that you have this turned on. This is very, very important for the battery health of your device. So these will keep your battery healthier. And of course, will do much, much better in the long run. So always make sure you have optimized battery charging turned on another thing i suggest you do especially now that we're installing ios 15 and it's just ios basically the initial release you will get a lot of updates in the upcoming next days of course go ahead and go to general go to software update and make sure you have turned on automatic updates so you don't have to worry about getting updates and installing them on your device everything will be done automatically that's much much better and of course you will get all the small updates without having to worry about them and having to download and install them all manually on your device of course as i said with this being the initial release we'll probably will get quite a few updates in the upcoming days fixing like a lot of like bugs and stuff like that that a lot of users will find with the initial release of ios 15. So that's about it for this video guys. These are 18 settings that I believe every iPhone user should change immediately on their iPhone running on iOS 15. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will do a lot more videos on iOS 15. So make sure you have subscribed to the channel. And if you haven't already, make sure you do so. And don't forget to leave a like on this video. And I will see you guys on the next one.